Here inside of InDesign, I have a single text box with some dummy text inside of it. And I would like to turn this into three columns. So I'll select the text box, object, text frame options. So just under this columns section just here, I will change the number to three and choose OK. So this is kind of looking OK, but I would much prefer it if these columns were roughly the same length. Now I don't really care if they get all the way to the bottom or not, I just want them to be more balanced. But I'm also working under specific instructions where I can't change the font size and I can't change the leading, which is what controls the spacing between the lines. So the only other option is really to go and grab the bottom of this text box and to start dragging this up to try and better balance the columns. So you can see I'm getting close, but of course if I go a little too far, I might get the little red plus sign in the bottom right corner, which tells me I've cut off text. So I'll come back and of course I can get there, but it's a little tedious. And the problem is of course, if I have to add or remove text at a later point, I'll have to come back through here again and of course change all this. So there is a better way to do this. I'll just put the text box back to the bottom margin just there. So still with the text frame selected, up under object, back into that text frame options. And I am looking for this option just here, balance columns, tick that, choose OK. And there we go, so this is looking great. Now again guys, remember this is balanced columns. It didn't say make each column the exact same length, which you can see is the reason why this last column isn't the exact same length as these guys, just because there isn't an exact multiple of three in terms of the number of lines inside of here. So that's it there, uh, balanced columns inside of your text frame options.